Right, well, good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, my boxes of, whoops, cans of Tarkir are here. All right, sorry about that delay. Plus, as you can see, a few freebies that the uh, supplier gave to me. There are two bo two packs of Gate Crash and a Magus of the Tabernacle. So I know Gate Crash is the rotating set, but let's crack these anyway and see what we get. A Wrecking Ogre, which isn't great. And a Foil Spirit Tracer and a Godless Shrine. So that's a nice little bonus. A, um, a Spirit Token there. Ooh, an Ozov Charm. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I've already got my play set of uh, shocks, but uh, to get another one is quite good. Anyway, thank you. Uh, Thank you to my supplier for supplying with those extra, extra packs. Time to move on to the main event now, which is the cracking of the cans. Um, I would keep dropping cards, wouldn't I? It's a good thing, isn't They also gave me a, a mass a magus of the tabernacle, which I think is from Conspiracy. Um, four drop. All creatures have a at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice this creature unless you pay one. I suppose it's all right. Anyway, moving on to the main event: Khans of Tarkia booster box. This is where things get interesting and fun. Um, I'll open the second box in another video. So, first box, what have we got inside? Um, flyer. And packs. Lots and lots and lots of packs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the commons in the box. Um, And the rares, this is practically the right hand column. The rares, I'll keep and out and uncommons. Um, I'll try and sort them as well as we go along. Okay, so first pack. We have, ooh, we saw it there. Venerable Lamassu. Bellowing Saddlebrook, Bear's Companion, and a Crackling Doom, along with a Foil Karu Dreadmore, which is quite nice. Um, I quite like the Crackling Doom, so that's a good start. It's not very expensive rare, but it's better than a kick in the nuts. Actually, anything is better than a kick in the nuts, so um, yeah, it kind of ignore that. Uh, right, here we go. Uncommons. We have Air of the Wilds, A Quiet Contemplation, Sandstep Citizel, and High Sentinels of Arashin, which I think is a great card. Bomb in Limited. Uh, I've got four versions of this coming, so this is going to be for sale. Ooh, and a Soren Emblem. I know someone who'd like that. Okay, next pack. So here we go. Uh, Goblin Slide, Master of the Way, Gurmag Swiftwing, and Cool Shankar. Very good card. Especially in uh, draft if you pull it. And a morph token. Should we go there next to Sorin? And then some more. And comments. So, reasonable start. Still got the meat of the box to go. 
All right, what have we got? Uncommons, Roar of the Challenge, Blinding Spray, Briber's Purse, and the rare Avalanche Tusker. When Avalanche Tusker attacks, target creature depending player controls, cannot blocks this combat blocks it this combat if able. It's a five drop, two colourless, green, blue, and red for a six four, which is pretty good. Um But I don't know, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for I don't know, red, which I think I can play because I want to build Abzan. So um we'll see. Right. Comments. Brave the Sam. Uncommons even. Brave the Sands. Jess Guide Charm. Cranial Archive. And Trap Essence. Um, it's a green, a blue, and a red. Counter target creature spell. Put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. And the rare? Oh, it had me. I saw it was a foil. I thought it might be a foil fetch, but it wasn't. It was a foil swamp. Sadly. So I'll put that in with the rares, even though it's dross. I might even put it next to the, the Dreadmore. Okay, next to pack. Let's see what's next. So we've got Become Immense, Seek the Horizon, Warden of the Eye, and the rare Windswept Teeth. First fetch land of the box, and it is one that I actually want, so I'm fairly pleased with that. That brings my total of Winsep Teeth up to three. I need one more, and I'll have a play set of them, so um, fairly pleased. Next pack. Focus is looking good. I'm just checking the camera. Okay, next. Dragon Grip, Opulent Palace, Team of Charm, and Hostilities, which is a board wipe. And it's probably going to replace Verdict uh, now in Standard as the board wipe to play. I mean, Dune Blast is good, don't get me wrong, but that is better because it's got a lower casting cost. Okay, next one. Commons, 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 commons. First uncommon of this pack is Suspension Field, Set Adrift, Murek Nightblade, and Mind Swipe. Um, interesting card. Counter a spell unless its controller plays X. And it deals X damage to that spell's controller. Um, yeah. I keep wanting to call. <laughs> I keep wanting to call this arse wipe as a card, but um, <laughs> ignore my disgusting sense of humour. Because it's one of these drudge rares you don't really want to pull, but mm, never mind. Okay, next pack. So, ooh, I just saw. Or uncommons in my box. Okay, so we've got a Horde Ambusher, Salt Eye Charm, Cranial Archive, and Dig Through Time. Another one of the uh, dross. Cards. Okay. We get through to the uncommons. Seek the Horizon, Timely Horde Mate, Swarm of Blood Fies, Rakshasa Death Dealer. That's one of the ones I'm after. So I'm pleased with that. And a Foil Island. You're giving me the wrong Foil Lands. I don't want Foil Basics, I want Foil Fetches. I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but nah, what can you do? Artwork is gorgeous on that though. Beautiful. Middle column. I've not seen a single mythic rare yet, which is very unusual. I don't think, hang on, let's just check. Rakshasa, dig through time, mind swipe, and hostilities. 
the Heath, Trap Essence, Avalanche Cluster, Zangle Shanker, Ice Sentinels, and Crackling Doom. Yeah, no, um, no mythics at all yet. So uh, hopefully this pack will break the mould, so to speak. Okay, first uncommon is Windstorm. Then we have an Abzan Battle Priest. Then we have a Murderous Cut. Great card. And the rare? Bloodstained Mire. Fetch number two. That's all good. And what the f... Another foil swamp. Getting it the wrong way round again. Oh well, two fetches. Not so bad. Uh, don't quite understand what's going on in this box. I've had four foils, and three of them have been basic lands. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there with that. Okay, next pack. Um, Uncommons, Hordling Outburst, Ride Down, Despise, and the rare? Sage of the Inward Eye. I think it's a great card, personally. Giving all your shit life link is stupid good. Very, very good card. Even that as a four would have been better than a basic four. Oh well. Next pack. Uncommons. Hair of the Wilds, Tusk Guard, Captain, Despise, and Wooded Foothills. That's the third fetch of this box. So, um, up to three now, and they reckon that that's the peak for a box. You get three fetches per box on average. Some boxes more. I saw some guy open ten fetches from a box. Uh, and some guys open none. So, um... Three for box one, not not bad, not bad at all. Next pack, and of course I got the um, the shock, the Godless Shrine shock. So uh, that is quite nice. Next pack, Quiet Contemplation, Ice Feather Avon, Nomad Outpost, Abzan Ascendancy. Spell speaks for itself. I don't need to tell you what that does. Put a counter on all your stuff, and when your stuff dies, you put 1-1 one, one flyers into the battlefield. It's a very good card. Next pack. Still no mythics. Watch of the Roost, Salt Eye Flayer, Death Frenzy, and Jeskai Ascendancy. So that's the Jeskai version. And what the... Another foil island. Um, I'm getting confused. Why are all of my foils basic lands? That's really broken. Not sure what's going on here. And still not a mythic yet. Not one. What is going on? What is going on? Next pack. Water Whirl. Bellowing Shadow Brute. Abzan Charm. That's my fourth one. And a Blood Soaked Champion. Oh, I'm fairly happy about that. That's a good card. Oh. Yep. Yeah, pleased about the Abzan Charm because that means uh, I have a place set of those now. Um Again, no mythics. What the hell is going on here? I don't understand. I'm about halfway through and I've had no mythics. None. Zip. Zero. Nada. Right. Mardu Heart Pisser. Incremental Growth. Secret Plans and the Red? Our first mythic, empty the pits. Um, well, I suppose it could see play. It's an interesting one for sure. 
and that's the way I'm going to leave it. Interesting. Next pack. Again, Venerable Lamassu, Frontier Bivouac, Ruthless Ripper, and another Crackling Doom. Okay. Well, it saves me buying Crackling Dooms, I suppose. I'm getting my place. Well, not, not quite. There's two of them. Um, I've already done it. Two packs? Well, oh, loads of packs, and I've got absolute rubbish thus far. Uncommons, become immense, Dragon Grip, Winter Flame, and the rare Altar of the Brood. I quite like that card. When another opponent enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent puts the top card of his library into his graveyard. So, it stacks off itself, so you play this turn one, and then another one turn two the you put they would put the top one on in response of that coming in. Um, plus then put two cards for each permanent going in. And a foil feed the clan. It's quite nice. Gain five life for two mana. Gain ten if you control a creature with power four or greater. Interesting. At least it's not a foil land. Foil basic. Finally breaking the mold. Right. Packs. Set adrift. Witness of the ages. Dead drop. Ne necropolis. Fiend. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. How many packs we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I've opened twenty packs and had one mythic. But three fetches, so mm, can't complain. But you know, mythics. What the hell is going on? Counts totally wrong. Uh, Sign of Glaciers, Suspension Field, Marjorie Rough Rider, and Dragon Throne. Planes token. You can sense the disappointment, guys. I suppose three fetches isn't bad, There's about 15 each, so, you know. Well, it's not terrible, but I'm, I'm getting a bit miffed. Burn away, sand steps as well, death frenzy, Mardu ascendancy, and an island. Next pack. Mardu, Blazebringer, Battle Priest, Salt Eye Charm, Retribution of the Ancients. I just don't know what's going on. This is a bad box. Bad. Well, it's not bad from a fetch land perspective, but bad from mythic perspective. That's all we got. Empty the pits. So uh, let's move on. I'm hoping this last pack of 12 does the business. Rotting Mastodon. Uh, these are all commons. Misfire Weaver. High Spar Mantis. Keru Bloodsucker. Mantis Rider. Blind Vigilance Haste for the 3. 3 3. Not bad. Ooh, but we have a foil. Abzan Falconer. That's nice. 
This could come in handy in my Absan deck. So that's my okay, guy, I suppose. And a bear. Grr. Next pack. Dragon's Eye Savants, Briver's Purse, Mystic Monastery, and Icy Blast. Swamp. Commons, Team of Charger, War Name Aspirant, Armament Corpse, Utter End. Now there's a card I was looking for, so that's alright. I just don't understand what's going on with the Mythics. Really don't, unless but there's four packs with Mythics in right here. I really don't know what's going on. This is a weird ass box. Weird. Jeskai Elder. Timely Horde Mate, Cranial Archive, and another Avalanche Tusker. This is strange as hell. Next pack, Goblin Slide, Death Frenzy, Keru Bloodsucker, and Trail of Mystery. That's the junk rare. What's going on? Oh, this, is, this is bizarre. I should have hit a mythic by now. This is really, really bizarre. I'm weirded out, guys. Weirded. Dragon's Eye Savants, Tuscar Captain, Mardu Charm, Thousand Winds, and a Foil Summit Prowler. Next pack. Mythic from this pack? Maybe? Please? Stubborn Denial, Master of the Way, Opulent Palace, and the rare Rakshasa Death Dealer. Well, that's my thing. Ooh, and a foil Teamer Ascendancy. So I now have three Rakshasa Death Dealers. I'm looking for the fourth. Saltai Flare, Venerable Lamassu, Raiders Spores, that goes far played. I can't work this out. One mythic out of an entire box. One. Mardu Blazebringer, Hot Piss of Bow, Fronted Bivouac, and another Arsewipe. Not happy. Not happy at all. Four packs left. Team of Charger, Dead Drop, Winter Flame, and another Mantis Rider. And what the fuck, another foil planes. Unbelievable. Un effing believable. Last three packs. You realise, unless these are all mythics, I've been well swindled for the box, I reckon. Oh, well, I don't know, maybe that's a bit harsh. There's some very good cards in here. 
Up here's a bellowing saddle brute, master of pearls. And a foil team of banner. Last two. Jeskai Elder, Armament Corpse, Gurmag Swiftwing, Sorin. Okay, so a mythic. You can go with the emblem. Um, I'm still a bit in shock because uh, we should have had more mythics. I think you might have seen that. Last pack, the rare is a Pearl Lake Angel. So only three mythics in this box, and I came to them right at the end. Sorin, Empty the Pits, and Pearl Lake Ancient. Uh, probably the best card there's Sorin. Um, let's go through everything else quickly before we finish. Master of Pearls, Mantis Rider, Arsewipe. Ghost Far Blade, Foil Teamer Ascendancy, Rakshasa Death Dealer, Thousand Winds, Trail of Mystery, Avalanche Tusker, Utter End, Icy Blast, Another Mantis Rider, Retribution of the Agents, Mardo Ascendancy, Dragon Throne of Tarkir, Necropolis Fiend, Altar of the Brood, Crackling Doom, Blood Soak Champion, Jeska Ascendancy, Absan Ascendancy, Fetch, Wooded Foothills, Sage of the Inward Eye, uh, Bloodstain Mire, Rakshasa Death Dealer, Dig Through Time, Mind Swipe, End Hostility, Wind Swept Teeth, Trap Essence, Avalanche Tusker, Shankar, High Sentinels of Arashin, and another Crackling Doom. So, value wise, maybe. No, if they're 15 each, that's 45, and then Sorin's gone down 50. Maybe about 60 quid's worth of rares. Maybe, around about that. This was a pretty bad box, in fairness. Um, I'm going to put this lot away. Uh, and um, I'll come back to you for box two. But the foils were um, Team Urbana, Plains, Summit Prowler, Absan Falconer, Feed the Clan, a whole lot of basic lands, and Keru Dreadmoor. Leave you with it, guys. Speak soon.